This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion. Today I'm going to be looking at the new movie Robocop, a futuristic sci-fi thriller about a cyborg policeman and a remake of the classic 1924 film The Robotic Police Officer, a landmark motion picture made during the height of Hollywood's silent era. Directed by Jose Padilla, Robocop tells the story of Alex Murphy, a police officer in a futuristic crime-ridden Detroit who, after suffering a near-fatal attack, is forced to continue fighting crime from within a cybernetic suit. Audiences will, of course, recognize this as a clever modern reimagining of the robotic police officer, in which a man made from leftover machine parts turns on his mad scientist inventor, gains his freedom, and joins a local police department. The original film, distributed by First National Pictures and directed by revered film pioneer Sidney Irving, revolutionized the art of cinema with its riveting tale of a mechanical man who struggles to adapt to human society while catching burglars on the streets of old New York. The 2014 update, of course, manages to remain fairly faithful to the classic story with a few changes. In Robocop, our hero faces off against the leaders of the evil conglomerate Omnicorp and their army of fully automated drones, which is a daring departure from the robotic police officer's central antagonist, the dastardly Hector Schenk, played to perfection by silent movie icon James Marcus Randall. Missing from the new Robocop, however, is the dynamic between the robotic police officer and the female lead Anita Bronstein, played by silver screen siren Elise Bertram, who attempts to reach the robotic police officer's heart and show him that he is, in fact, truly human on the inside. Silent screen legend Warren T. Corbett did a remarkable job humanizing the original film's complex central character. And while Joel Kinnaman is a serviceable lead in the remake, he seems daunted by the task of topping one of cinema's most iconic performances. Ultimately, while the new Robocop is a diverting sci-fi venture, I must recommend that moviegoers take the time to re-watch the original robotic police officer a movie that is truly one of the great achievements of the silent era. We can only imagine what great heights its actors and creators would have reached had they not all perished in a fire that occurred during the movie's premiere. For The Onion's Film Standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.